Hi everybody, Stampin' Sue Creates here. Whew, today is a busy day for me. Um, kind of got out today and uh, it was good to get out <clears throat> to errands. Um, I'm uploading those videos as I'm currently making this video. It just seems I was so behind in things with being sick. But um, I'm here to do another fun video with you um, using my machine embroidery. My embroidery machine. <laughs> Sorry. I think I got the, like, you know, brain sucked out of my head or something. I don't know. I'm saying things backwards and whatnot. Anyhow, um, got a notification from um, one of the craft shows that I've been very successful at. That They're having a spring craft show. So right away, it's like, bing. And it's in the beginning of March. And, of course, what's my first thought is St. Patrick's Day, Easter, uh, spring, those kinds of things. So what am I going to make to sell at these shows? Something that is quick, easy, cute, um, can make a nice little profit, you know, at least cover my table space and my materials, make a little extra for me to help pay off this beautiful Brother Essence VE 2300 machine that, you know, the monthly payments keep coming. So, um, I was on a oof, embroidery boutique is where I got this download from. And of course I got a few other things too, which maybe will be forthcoming, but, um, they are this cute little bunny treat holder. So this was my first attempt and um let me show you the top opens up right here so you can tuck in your little treats whether it be cash um gift card where you at the ones they all filter kilter there um candy whatever and you just take the top and um just tie a little ribbon so with this i used fleece well that most of these are all fleece i don't want to hit the camera with my chair because i want to move in a little closer um this is fleece uh, this was fleece i used at christmas time to make gingerbread men so i think it turned out really cute now the first one i made um i did batting on the inside but this fleece is super thick and um even with the other ones i decided it didn't need the batting it was good without it so this is my sample so i'm going to put him over there and these are ones without the fleet without the batting and i think they turned out perfect so there's that one um this one is done with pink fleece now this fleece is a little thinner then i did this one and this one was done with um sorry my dog she knows when i do videos fleece baby blankets from the dollar tree so just align that um up this one has little hearts on it um had stockpile of those so this was a gray one and i thought that was super cute and gray and this which was my main reason to go to dollar tree today which i walked out and i didn't even get what i wanted this is made with those Dollar Tree chamois. Look at that. It's so fluffy and soft. Yeah, the chamois that you used to do your car with. I thought that is super cute because I don't know if it's doing any justice, but it's fluffy. Let me try to bring it up so you guys can see. Let me show you the cute little face. I'm trying to work backwards here. It's not working for me. Look at it. Can you see the detail in that face? It's like cute, fuzzy, fuzzy. So anyhow, um, I thought, let's make one. You know, maybe you're interested in that. So it's Embroidery Boutique. You can just go in and just search, I don't know, Easter Bunny in the Hoop, maybe? Maybe. Um, Easter Bunny Treat Holder. Um, comes in different sizes. The one I'm doing today is 5 by 7 I didn't try the 6 by 10 I may try that. Um, so um, let's bring it up. Oh, I have to take my frame off. All right, I hear you, Bob. I hear you. Okay. Bob has to do his thing. You know, it is all about Bob, right? So I have a tearaway stabilizer in my 5x7 hoop. And um, let's go ahead and bring it up. I have it saved on USB. 
Um, these are some of the other things I downloaded. I don't, I want to say maybe from there. It could be from somewhere else. I'm thinking it's from there, embroidery boutique. But look how cute that is with a little flower and a bee. And um, here's the bunny. And I think this one is the six by 10 one. Yeah, it's a bigger one. So we're doing five by seven. So the, whether you do five by seven, six by 10, all the same. We're going to hit embroidery. Okay. So look, at, it takes four minutes and 2,024 stitches. Like, hello, great project. Quick, simple, easy. You got this, right? All right. So now let me bring you in. Close your eyes if you get a little dizzy wizzy. You want to, um, hold on, let me move this way. I know, oh, I'm caught on the cord down below. Hold on. Too many cords, too many cords. I know people tell me you need to have two cameras. You need to this, you need to that. Well, I'm just here to show you how to do it. I mean, I'm not here as a professional videographer. And I say that in all my videos. I don't know why I have to, but I do. So here's that um, brown color fleece. And um, fleece has two different sides to it. So let's take a look under the light because that LED light, I think I even have it turned down, but it's a fabulous light. Let me go, um, let me go into the light and see if I have it. I think I turned it down. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Is that better? Okay, so fleece has two sides. One is a little um, fluffier, and one is kind of bumpier. I know, you're probably like, what? Yeah, well, it does. I mean, it doesn't really matter. These are just little treat holders. So um, these are pieces of fleece I have left over. Now, the first thing it's going to do is a... Um, stitch out of where your design goes which i already know where it's going to go i mean it's four by it's a five by seven hoop so i mean how far is it going to go so i'm going to make sure it's nice and flat and these are like i said or maybe i didn't these are scraps so it's going to do the outline and um, i'm going to do it twice because once you're supposed to do it like on the uh, stabilizer and um if you want it Check and re-thread the upper thread. All right, Bob. Oh, I see Bob is not going to be happy man today. But we're going to listen to what he says. Maybe something happened while it was sitting here. So um, this thread I'm using is not the thread nanny, but the embroidery part of it. Um, this is just a big spool I have off to the side that I got from, oops, sorry, from Amazon. I'll have to check you once I, I wasn't anticipating starting out with threading um hold on a sec and then of course my dog's gonna come in she's gonna want something let me check you for a placement there there we go all right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the beginning i have a feeling that this is gonna hit where we're at all right i think that's good all right let's start this again and go sit down you Go sit down. Okay. Not you guys, my dog. She's going to come and lay in the cat bed. Just because she fits, so she sits. I'm hoping the arm isn't going to hit you. All right, so it's going to do the outline, and then I'm just going to hit it again, let it do the outline again. Probably should have replaced my needle because I think it's been some time since I've um, replaced my needle. We'll see. All right, so it's going to do your outline stitch. So you would do that first, and then you would lay down your uh, fabric or um, you know whatever material you're going to do this on. Okay, so then you would put that the material on. And then this will do this. It's the same stitch out. But, um, you know, I could skip the first step, I suppose. But I didn't. These are super fun to make. You know what that popping sound is. Sounds like the paper. Stabilizing paper. And I didn't worry about doing this color um, thread to match 
fabric. Because you're not really going to see it. If you're worried about that, you could. And I have like a little squeak. I don't know if you guys can hear it. When the machine is running, it does a little, it's like a very light squeak. I don't know what that's about. All right. So this is a um, water soluble stabilizer. And because, because this is a thick fleece, um, I do it on the Dollar Tree ones too. I'm going to put this down because this way, this will um, protect your stitches from being dissolved into the fabric. And right now, what we're going to do are the eyes. So the eyes, I mean, I suppose you can do any color you'd like. I'm looking for my thread. I'm going to do them black. And... I'm always afraid I'm going to fall off my chair. I'm using Thread Nanny. So this is Thread Nanny Black um, 900. And then the other thread I'm using, Thread Nanny, this is a pink, and it's 085. And that's the only thread you need, okay? So um, let me thread up Bob here. And I'm going to apologize if I hit you guys again because it's an odd angle that I'm at here. But I'm going to try to stand and do it this way. Because Bob self-threads himself, he makes my job easy. All right. Okay, Bob, are we ready? All right, so we're going to do the eyes. So we're going to put our foot down. And we're going to have two eyes. Two little beady eyes. Quick stitch. We all love quick stitches, don't we? Especially when you want to mass produce. Uh, maybe you're making them for, you know, someone's class. You could probably personalize it by maybe putting their um, name maybe on the ear if you want. You'd have to do all that, you know, now before you assemble it. But, um, you know, you can make this your own. but I really love it on the chamois. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open when I see the chamois, now that I kind of got out of the house. Ooh, it was the first time I got out of the house. Well, I went to work last, this past week for four days. All right, I'm gonna have to take off the black thread. And of course, it fell on the floor. All right, so um, I did go to work this week couple days but um by Thursday I was so exhausted that's why you haven't seen me because I've just been trying to get through this and I went to bed when I came home from work and just got up a few times here and there to let the dog out and ended up staying in bed till the next day in the afternoon so anyhow all right let me get my chair here Next thing we're going to do is the nose. We're going to do the nose pink. Now, again, you can do um, yours any color you wish. And that's not, that's not threaded. Come on, Bob. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's try this again foot up. All right, let me re-thread. Bob's having some issues today. So anyhow, um, stayed home from work on Friday and um, did absolutely nothing yesterday. And today I'm like, I gotta get out and get trash bags, pick up a couple things from the store and came home and well, feeling pretty good right now, so knock on wood. Okay, so it's going to do the little nose, and it has that little line under the nose. And then next, we're going to do the little whiskers. We're going to go back with the black. Now, I do have a thread holder, and yes, I could use the thread holder, but... I don't mind doing this. Okay, we're 
done with the pink. Let me just put the pink over here. Always remember when you're taking your thread out to pull the natural way the thread goes. You don't want to yank it out from the top because that can goof up your um, tension. You don't want to have tension problems because then it's going to be a trip to the, an expensive trip for me would be to the Poconos. All right, now we're going to do the whiskers. And whenever you're starting off, if like, you know how before it started and the thread wasn't, the needle wasn't threaded, you always want to go back and start from the beginning of the stitch because those couple stitches that it does is kind of a tack down to hold the stitch in place. So you always want to go back to make sure you get those couple stitches in the beginning, which kind of tack it down. That little squeaky thing, it sounds like I got a little mouse in there running. Maybe he's in there going, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> All right. So we got three whiskers on that side. Three more whiskers. And we are almost done. Can you believe it? I think it takes more time to hoop it and make the thread changes than it does to make one. have y'all been doing i hope everyone is doing well today is um sunday december 17 2021 um tomorrow is martin luther king holiday here in the united states depending on where it is you're watching from and the um government post office banks all those kinds of things they have the day off tomorrow however medical offices do not and that is our super tone, which tells us that we are ready for the next step. So I'm going to trim off that. And I'm going to tear away the stabilizer. Now, don't throw the stabilizer away because there's still a lot of good real, real space there. Still a lot of room that we can keep using that. All right. Use a little water on that, and that will get that off. So there's a cute little bunny face. Okay, now we're going to take the black off. And I'm going to go back to the white thread. And we're going to finish this little bunny right up. Here we thread. You bob. And you hear that? That's my pug. Here, she's snoring. You know, I wish I can do that. I wish I could lay down at night when it's time for bed and just fall asleep like that. So, okay, let me see. I want this side to go down. So you're gonna take another piece. Let me put it over this way. Another piece to go right over the top of that. And again, I have the white thread back in there again. Make sure it's nice and flat. And we got one more minute stitch. And then we'll be finished with this. I'll show you how to finish it. But yeah, so my dog is a rescue. From local animal rescue I got her back in two it'll be four years I have her this July she was five when I got her and rescued her um, she is a pug slash Dalmatian I know odd combination right um, she's a great dog and my cat Dory which you know I don't know where she's at she's a cat so she likes to do her own thing she also is a rescue, and I got her as a kitten, and she will be in July as well. She will be, let me think, uh, she'll be five. Wow. I think. Yeah. Now 
that's the tone we like to hear. It says finish sewing with a little smiley face. I'm going to hit the OK. And then we can go ahead and take this out. All right. Let me get situated over here. Get my other pair of scissors. A little dark over here, but I think we'll be okay. It's starting to get dark out already. What time is it? It's almost five o'clock here, Eastern time. All right, let me move you over here. Don't look at the mess behind the camera. All right, so we have, um, have this in the hoop. Let's turn it over. What you want to do is go in and um, you could trim up any of those little loose threads that are there. It doesn't really have to be perfect. No one's going to see the inside. But anyhow, we like to tidy it up, don't we? Let's go ahead and take this out of the hoop. Now, all these pieces left here, I'm not going to throw those away. I'm going to put them in my scrap bin. Because you never know when you're doing an applique and you just need a little piece. All right, so here's our tearaway stabilizer. What I like to do is leave the stabilizer on here. I'm going to cut around the bunny. So I'm going to start up here. Let's see if you could see that. I'm just going to leave about a quarter of an inch. Now, by leaving the stabilizer in and cutting, and I know a lot of you are saying, but you're cutting through that, and they're fabric scissors, and oh, I'm not going to worry about that. The stabilizer helps when you're holding it and cutting it. Otherwise, you know, it's flopping around. And yeah, you can pull out the stabilizer and tear it away. And cut that off. But um, I like keeping it. Now this on the front, you're going to see it only goes down that far. So you know, have to turn it over to complete the rest of the cutting on the front. All right, so you just trim around. And I was at the Dollar Tree today and they're starting to put out all of their Easter things. But they really didn't have any Easter candy yet. Okay, so when you see on the front, you see how this goes down more? You want to cut that out and follow the line of the stitching. Again, just leaving a little bit. You don't want to cut through your stitching. Okay, so then you will have this. And then here's the back. Okay, let me move that aside. So then what you want to do, I'm going to take my scissors. And um, I'm going to poke a little bit of a hole in here just to get it started. And we're going to tear this away. Now, don't be like a, you know, um, really, really rough with this. I mean, it is stitched twice, but just want to get rid of all that tear away stabilizer. Now, I suppose you could use water soluble stabilizer, but that would just be, to me, a lot of extra work and cut away you won't be able to get in there and um, get close to um, cutting all this away now you want to be careful around the face here because there's some intricate stitching so just tear what you can you would probably want to take a little bit more time than than I am but this is a good thing to do you know stitch them out and maybe go sit and you know, watch TV, your favorite show, and um, do this part. Okay, so you can sit and, you know, pull all this out. That not so much. Maybe here near the ears you want to, you know, be a little more. Okay, so here's the great part of this, is that this leaves a hole here in between the ears. Let me grab my um, bone folder, which I use for stamping. I'll tear a little more of that face away. I'm not too concerned about the face. I mean, they'll give you some stability. And then what you want to do is turn it right side out. 
There you go, ears. You can stick your um, finger in there to help that. What I like to do is take my bone folder and ease that to get those ears turned out. And then go along the bottom. Just like that. And kind of roll it a little bit. That will help with your seams. And there you go. There's your bunny, right? So let me grab um let me grab a ribbon and show you. Uh, let's see. What color ribbon do we want? Oh. Just go with how about a little bit of twine. All right, so these are reusable. You can go ahead and stick all your candy in there, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, maybe some, you know, cookie packs, you know, whatever. It's a nice size little rabbit. So you would just take your ribbon, your twine, and wrap it around. Tie it up like that. Just tie yourself a bow. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, fluff them up a little bit. Pull on the ears. Fix the bow. You know, if you want to move the bow up a little bit. Hey, he's your bunny. Once you have him filled up with, you know, candy or stuff... You know, he's going to fluff out a little bit. You can personalize, you know, the ears. Like I've said before, when it was stitching, you can maybe, you know, embroider like that, a name on there or the date or, you know, you can spruce him up however you want. So aren't they cute? So let's take a look at the other ones again. So here's another one of the brown. I really like the brown. And um, here's the one, you know, you can go and get all sorts of fleece. If you're near a Joann's right now, I did see a flyer that they have their fleece on sale for $2.99. I, I think a yard. You can get so many of them out of this. There's a cute little pink one, a little ribbon. And then this one, my favorite, the little chamois from the dollar store. Yeah. Look how cute. So I'm gonna try seeing, um, making some with fabric. You can use fabric, felt, <clears throat> whatever you have. But some cute little bunnies. Even if you don't want to um, put candy inside, you could put some fiber fill in there. How cute would they be, you know, to have at maybe each person's place setting, you know? Once they had something in, I'm sure they would stand up, you know? Sitting at the table for Easter. Yeah, and you know, they're they're cute, easy to make, but definitely the chamois is my favorite because it's just so fluffy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed bringing this to you. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. You'll be, uplo you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I so appreciate you coming back here. Please be sure to share the love, make a comment, give me a thumbs up. And most of all, just be happy, be creative, and have fun. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.